This walking burden to society has just gotten into more trouble with the Israeli police, and it hasn't even been 72 hours since the last video I dropped on him. So since then, he's allegedly had an official threaten him with 99 years in prison. He's been taken in for questioning by the police again, and also threatened to sue me on Twitter and use my YouTube ad revenue on Esports and Blow. So good for him. I'm sure a judge will really take that seriously. But yeah, today we're talking about Johnny Somali, who's become a laughing stock here on the internet, but it seems like he hasn't even realized that people are actually laughing at how pathetic he is and not with him. As his entire stream chat is just actively trying to get him hurt or arrested, and every time something happens, they think it's the funniest thing ever. Johnny has somewhat become infamous because of harassing the public in Japan, and he was also arrested twice there and held in jail for about 90 days. And I guess when he was finally released from Japanese jail, his bright idea was to go to Israel and start testing the limits there. As it seems like this dude will literally do anything for just a drop of attention, including committing crimes, harassing, and harassing police officers, all for live stream content. In my recent video, we covered how he absolutely denied that, but unfortunately for him, he's live streaming everything. Do I look like someone who's the s that will ask anybody? Don't touch me, don't touch me. Don't touch me, I'm from America. Don't touch me, I'm from America. Don't touch me. I'll slap that if I grab it too. Donald know the Trump told me grab it by the I'll grab that too. The dude is basically as dishonest as it comes, and he was proudly trying to falsely copyright strike myself, Decoy Voice, and Oompaville, so I posted that on Twitter. He then replied, you're gonna get effed by my Jewish lawyers very soon for defamation, libel, and slander. You will have to crowdfund legal fees just like last time. Cease and desist will be delivered. It's going to feel so good spending your YouTube ad revenue on blow and ad courts. So to that I replied, you're pathetic. Because let's be real here, nobody damages his image more than himself. But speaking of lawsuits, damage, and injuries, when you're seriously hurt, your injury could be worth millions. And that's where today's sponsor, Morgan & Morgan, comes in. Morgan & Morgan, they do not settle for lowball offers. Just in the past couple of months, Morgan and Morgan have seen verdicts of $12 million in Florida, which was 34 times the highest insurance offer, $26 million in Philadelphia, which was 40 times the highest insurance offer, and $6.8 million in New York, which was 25 times the highest insurance offer. And the fee is absolutely free unless you win. And did you know you can start your claim with America's largest injury law firm in just one single click? It's so easy. You can start your claim now with Morgan and Morgan at forthepeople.com slash Atozi, which is at the top of the description down below. Well, without further ado, let's continue the video. Not too long after my interactions with Johnny on Twitter, I noticed I got this comment on my recent video. I'm in the same hotel as him. They are removing him from the country. Woke me up this morning, the same cops. The cops he was mentioning were the cops from the last video that showed up to his hotel to check on him. As allegedly, they heard Johnny claim to be injured from the hotel staff. This might have something to do with a series of events that happened on his stream the previous night, because after he got carried away, <laughs> He was interrogated for 30 minutes. This is where all of Twitter was claiming he'd been arrested. Apparently, he was only detained and questioned. So I do need to correct that he was only detained here. But after being detained, he said this to the police. You're gay. You're a guy. Holy shit, man. Not you? I'm not scared of the police. You think I'm scared of these motherfuckers? Okay. You. 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 I talked to them, I asked them, I'm like, you gotta let him go, you're gonna get a little special. And he said all that after the police allegedly threatened him with this. You know what the cop threatened me? What? He said, 99 years, we'll make sure you don't come back to Israel. I said, I'm Ethiopian, I'm Jewish, <laughs> you can't come back to Israel. <laughs> oh, I have 3,000 viewers, yo, shout out my gang. Pirate gang in the chat, W sub up. It's insane to me that someone will happily ruin their lives for 3,000 viewers. The social media world is getting dystopian incredibly quickly. But then he had two very contradicting statements. Yo, I need to get some money for what they did tonight, bro. That was crazy. I didn't expect them to really grab my... They got mad because I'm talking. <sighs> tonight was a good night, bro. Okay, so clearly it wasn't that bad if tonight was a good night. But it seems like in his head, as long as he's getting attention, it's a good night. But going back to the police who were there to check on him, it's a little unclear what they were actually doing, but it seems like Johnny might have been exaggerating injuries as he previously stated that he wanted some money. Yet, it was a good night. I don't want to talk about anything. I need to talk to my lawyer. You will don't do it? I'll talk to my lawyer. You go to the hospital? I'll talk to my lawyer. You don't want to speak with me? I do not want to speak with you guys. I'll talk to my lawyer. According to the comment I received, those two officers showed back up and then suddenly there was a news article out that said an American tourist harassed a police officer in the last MOCA protest of Tel Aviv. Jarkon Space police and border fighters arrested a U.S. resident tourist in his 20s yesterday after harassing a police officer with 
hurtful and abusive statements about her as part of a protest as a recent TAA. As part of the investigation, it became clear that in addition to the harassment of the suspect policemen, he violated the order during protests and confronted police officers, interrupting police officers in performance of their duties and even raising harassment against the police officer on social networks. At the end of the investigation, on suspicion of interrupting a police officer in the performance of his duties, insulting a public servant, commotion in a public place and violating privacy, the suspect was transferred to a proceeding with the immigrant authority for a hearing prior to his deportation from the country for his attribution. Okay, so we have that article that came out claiming that he's about to get deported, but then a day later, Johnny goes live where he claims this happened. So we're drinking at the copy shot. Amir says, we're drinking cappuccinos. Eight cops run up, secret police, grab me, throw me into a car. <laughs> I get punched in the stomach, slapped in the face, slapped, choked, <laughs> and they're like, uh... You need to apologize to the Magal. You need to apologize to the girl you insulted. <laughs> this shit was crazy. They choked me out and they put me on camera saying sorry now. And I said, never, never, never. He never did. He's never going to get some hostage video out of me. You're going to have to shoot me with that M16. <laughs> I crashed out. I crashed out. I doubt it went down like that, but whatever, dude. That happens. They threaten me. They're like, yo. We're going to take you to a private room and beat your ass. And I was like, bro, what the f is going on? They take me to the police station. I get put in prison for a night with a bunch of Palestinians and Ethiopians and Russians. I end up taking over the jail. I, I start doing chants and dances with them. All the guards are Muslim, Palestinian. They're f with me because I'm from America. I ran the whole jail. I'm taking hummus. <laughs> and I got out after one night, you know what I mean? No, I, I don't know what you mean. But he's claiming he's leaving Israel on Sunday. But we're going to be leaving Israel Sunday. But yeah, I'm out. I'm out. How am I deported if I'm walking around right here? I'm walking around in Israel right now. <laughs> Life is good, dog. Then finally, he had a message to say. All I want to say is, look, BB, IDF, Mossad, I know you're watching. I love Israel. And thank you guys for hosting me in your country. It's been a great one month trip. I'm leaving in five days, four days, and I think we're gonna go to um, we're gonna go to LA, do no jumper, then I'm going to South America. So yeah, that's the plan. LA, no jumper, South America. So let's make it happen, guys. Okay. Good luck to him, I guess. He's definitely playing a dangerous game, but he also briefly apologized on Twitter saying, I apologize for my distasteful comments under the influence of alcohol. I am happy to be a guest in your beautiful nation. Thank you for hosting me. Yeah, dude, blaming alcohol doesn't excuse your garbage behavior. Either way, the guy's gonna crash out. The only question is when? He's still being extremely bold, even though a police officer already threatened him, or at least an official threatened him 99 years in prison, allegedly, but he's still running around being that bold. Is this Darwinism? I guess only time will tell, but other than that, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.